talking about FX Empire. This is Chris taking a look at the Nat Gas market. And uh, as you can see, I mentioned yesterday we could possibly make a break towards five and a half. And I think at this point in time uh, that, uh, you know, it looks like we are trying to get there. Here's the thing, though. Uh, this is all based upon the storms in the northeastern part of the United States. This is setting itself up to be a massive move lower. This is not something I want to buy. You know, full disclosure, most of this happened when I was asleep. So, therefore, I'm I'm not involved. Uh, would I have taken the breakout? Maybe. Um, I would have been very cautious with it, though. However, I could see a $2 drop pretty quickly. Um, you know, as soon as the storms are done... I, you know, gas was down here and, and that's really where it belongs as we are heading out of spring. So this is a short term uh, situation. Big storm coming into the northeastern part of the United States over the next couple of days. You know, we'll see. Uh, but Nat gas tends to focus on the next week or two. It's a very short term market. And that's part of what you're seeing. So at the first signs of weather breaking or even being suggested a couple days out that it's going to break in the Northeast and prior to the United States, I'm going to short. And I think a $2 drop is very possible. So I do think there's more money to may be made on the downside, despite the fact that we shot higher. Now that doesn't mean I'm going to go in and buy a, a couple futures contracts. Uh, I'll use CFDs and I'll do it in small bits and pieces on the way down. And as it continues to fall, I'll add to my position.